Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Secretary Liu, for being with us today. Uh, over the past five years in the House, there have only been two votes in support of the President's budget. Uh, there's 435 of us, two votes for the President's budget the last five years. All of us are elected to represent the American people, and I'm just really puzzled when you are rejected that soundly by the, by the folks here in the People's House, why you wouldn't be willing to work with us on changing, I think you call this budget, your vision for America, one that might more accurately reflect the priorities of the American people. You know, this committee has discussed on numerous occasions that the American people are being hurt by this president's failed economic policies. And statistics that we just saw uh, show that growth is being stuck at 2% nationally. That really does not do justice to the hardworking American people who are suffering right now. Uh, in this budget for fiscal year 2017, our budget chairman has already noted uh, you will increase annual spending by two and a half trillion dollars over the next 10 years. It includes 3.4 trillion in new taxes. Annual collections will increase by over two trillion in 10 years. The the debt, federal debt held by the public will increase well over seven trillion in the next 10 years. That's a, a 51% growth in debt in just 10 years. Uh, the, the president's plan more than triples interest cost, which remains the fastest growing item in the budget. The president's estimates indicate the net interest outlays will grow 228% over the 10-year budget window. Under this president's plan, interest costs are going to be larger than the appropriations for the Defense Department for uh, 2022. This budget is putting us on a path where we are just borrowing to continue to pay for more borrowing. Uh, can you tell us and the folks that we represent, how can you be comfortable with this budget when we are borrowing nearly twice as much money as we're currently borrowing, just money to pay more money? Uh, Congresswoman, you know, if you look where we started in 2009 and where we are now, we have stabilized a situation that was out of control. Um, I, I know what it means to balance a budget. I was OMB director for three years, the only well, then three why years don't we had a you budget, budget. Why don't but, you balance the budget? When we came into office, the economy had shrunk by way more than 2%. It was like 8 or 9% the year you're, before. You're talking we about 2022. Yeah, so you, you can't ever, ever get to balance in perpetuity. When we take these figures and you project it out in perpetuity, you can't ever point to a time where you will stop spending more of my my constituents money than you take in and I get tired of hearing this primary balance the folks at home know what balance means it means you don't spend more money than you take in and I don't see how we can look our kids in the eye and explain to them why we can't pay for the things that we're enjoying today we're just gonna send them the bill so look, I, I, I think that we have to look at the drivers of some of the spending and ask, do we, uh, do we want to uh, pretend it's not happening? Demographic changes have meant that more people would be on Social Security and Medicare in these coming So you're decades. just not being honest with people. You no. really intend to raise no. taxes a whole lot more no, than the budget I, I, reflects. You just don't want to tell them no, that. I, I'm being completely honest. I, I, I'm saying that, you know, go back a few years. When I was OMB director and we had a surplus, we were building up over the 10 years when I left five and a half trillion dollars of surplus. Why can't you that do money, that again? That money wasn't there when we came back in. We were seeing deficits that were enormous and we've stabilized it. I don't think Social Security and Medicare should be cut uh, you know, to, 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 to take away from people what they need and what they've been promised. And, and, and we, we proposed a balanced that. approach. So to what get to year a does your budget. your budget balance? I'm not going to say that it presents a That's year of balance. That's because it never does. I said it's a stable, sustainable path, and we have a long period when we can deal with some of these long-term issues. I think it, it, I'd ask the question to you, how would you balance the budget? What would you cut? Uh, what, what, our, our 
budgets the last few years yeah. and the budget that the budget chairman will present, they always get to balance and puts us on a path to totally eliminate the debt. See, the problem here is... I suspect there is, will be policies there that me, we have... The problem here is the over. people in Kansas yeah. are sitting there running their businesses and their personal finance, and they have to balance their budget, and they can't, for the life of right. them, figure out why we can't do the same here in Washington.